All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stay down through impact, but how you can actually reverse engineer that through keeping the trail arm and trail wrist bent. We're gonna use one of my new favorite training aids here. We'll dig into this in just a moment. All right guys, so how to stay down through impact trail arm, trail wrist. Here's essentially the take home, okay? With a lot of golf swings I see, if you draw the line down the forehead, the line down the butt, you'll see a lot of impact positions that look something like this. Right, the head comes off the wall, the sternum and torso gets farther from the ground, the butt kicks in, sort of the classic early extension look. Now, what often doesn't get talked about along with that, unless you're a CoronaGolf.com member, because then I've told you this, is your trail arm and trail wrist is directly associated with that. What do I mean? What I mean is, the more my body gets farther from the ground, the more I have to throw my right arm or straighten my right arm and my right wrist just to get down to the golf ball. Now, conversely, the closer my torso is, the more I have to bend my right arm and bend my right wrist back to be able to make that work, okay? Now, the key is, and the thing here is, you could actually reverse engineer it. What does that mean? That means, of course, you could try and improve the body motions, and by getting your torso closer to the ground and staying down through impact, you have to have the right arm and right wrist bent because you are closer to the ground. Or, and what I like to do sometimes, is reverse engineer that, meaning if I make my right wrist and right arm more bent, the only way to hit the ball solid is by not standing up, but actually turning and tilting. So by having your right wrist more bent back, and I'll show you how to use this bad boy in a moment, and having your right arm more bent through impact, you force yourself to stay down. Now, the staying down part, okay, keeping the head on the forehead and the butt on the wall, when you watch any good player, they're not staying down by just having their chest down towards the ground. What they're doing is they're replacing their forward bend with side bend and rotation. So when you look at them at setup, their hips and chest are pointed towards the ball. When you look at them at impact, the hips are open, the rib cage is open, and it's actually their right shoulder that is replacing where the chest was. That's how I think about that. Here's my chest a certain distance from the ground. During the downswing, I want my trail shoulder to be down there on the ground. That's the sensation. If we did the old club across the shoulders, right, I want to feel like that shoulder replaces the forward bend. But, and especially if you've been practicing that, if you've been trying to stay down for years and you haven't been able to, what I'm saying here is potentially you try and reverse engineer this thing with the right arm, right wrist. So I've got this precision impact. If you didn't see our video on Tuesday, this is the right wrist training aid. I've been literally waiting a decade for. I've been testing out for the past couple of months. It trains you how to set your right wrist bend and then it forces you to keep it on the way through. Um, it's kind of similar to that old Greg Norman one, but you can set it flat and because of that little ball in there, I can go up and down with it. It's unbelievable design, would highly recommend it. We'll put this down below. So what this thing is gonna help us do is keep the right wrist bent, keep the right arm bent. So if we kind of looked at like a wall in front of me and that was the ground, now as my right wrist bends, notice the club head, um, and maybe we'll draw a, a, a wall in there. Notice how when I bend my right wrist, the club head gets farther from the wall. Now notice also as I bend my right arm, the club head gets farther from the wall. Now for me to get closer to the wall, I'd have to straighten my right wrist, straighten my right arm. Okay, in this example, the wall is just the ground. So keeping your right wrist bent and right arm bent, here's how we use this thing. This is why I like this so much, it gives you instant feel. We're gonna start with the wrist pretty flat at setup. We're gonna bend and we're gonna start with half swings. We're gonna bend back three quarters of the way um, to about a half swing, more in transition and hold it through impact. So, normal setup position. I've got an eight iron. We're going to start with 20 to 30 reps here to practice. So I'm going to bend it back. Now I'm not fully bent back. I'm about 75% of the way. Then I'm going to bend it more back in transition. And I'm going to feel like an impact that right wrist is going to stay that bent and that right arm is going to stay that bent. And that forces me to have my trail shoulder down. So my shoulder stays down. Now my hips still should kick forward. I see a lot of people trying to stay down and their head stays down like this. That's not the play. Your hips kick forward, but your shoulder stays down. So it's side bend, okay? Side bend is how you stay down through impact. Right wrist bent, right arm bent, right shoulder down. Say it with me. Right wrist bent, right arm bent, right shoulder down. So we're gonna take our setup position. I'm gonna bend this thing back during my backswing and keep it bent on the way down. And that is about as good as I can compress these irons, just like that last video. If you didn't watch that Tuesday video, we'll put a card on the screen at the end. Would highly recommend that. That would go through these pieces as well. 
So you want to feel what that feels like. Have the handle like an impact. I want to have the handle over my left leg. I want to have my right wrist bent back. So it's set up. That's set up. My hands are inside my left thigh. My right wrist is straight. At impact, my hands are over my left leg. My right wrist is bent back. At setup, my right arm's only slightly bent, about 165 degrees. At impact, my right arm's 150 degrees. So from setup to impact, my right wrist is more bent back and my right arm is more bent, okay? Obviously, my weight is more forward as well. And I'm gonna feel that, that right pec and right chesting down through impact. So right wrist bends back and stays bent back. Right arm stays bent, trail shoulder and pec down through impact. Yeah, beautiful. So that's kind of the mantra I would use here with this is right wrist bent back, right arm bent, right shoulder down. Now, a lot of players will bend the right wrist and bend the right arm, so kind of this example, and that, again, gets it closer to me. And then they don't get the torso far enough down, so they hit thin shots in the beginning. And that's the key. Put yourself in a position where you have to stay down through impact, where you have to stay down through impact. So right wrist bent back, right arm stays bent. At impact, I'm looking to get my hands over my left shoe. I want my right arm um, bent about 150 and my right wrist bent back. And the beauty, beautiful part about this, why I like it more than that Norman one while I've been waiting, I can just boom, unclick this, now I'm back to flat. So I can feel it, forces me to feel it, and I get the auditory click. Right wrist bent, right arm bent, trail shoulder and peck down. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably a full swing. So the thing, when you, when you get the handle forward too and you stay down through impact, you're gonna lower the dynamic loft. So you're gonna compress your irons much more. So like when I do that really good, I can hit my three quarter eight iron about as far as my normal, right? So full swing eight iron for me is like 160, 65. And when I really get that handle forward and get my body motions with it, you can really hit the ball quite far. So right wrist bent back, right arm bent, and right shoulder down. And I'm just hitting little half ones there and that's as good as I can compress a ball. So if you're coming from standing up through impact, Okay, you're coming from the standing up through impact position. You for sure, if you look at yourself on video, your right arm will be straightening too soon and your right wrist will be straightening too soon. So all the time with that from here, you're gonna look like this at impact. The handle's gonna be too far back and you're presenting too much loft. Fats and thins, very little club face control, inconsistencies, probably hit it too high and too short. So to go from here, the handle's forward, right? Right arm bent, right wrist bent, shoulder forward. So listen, the head on the wall drills, some of the downswing early extensions that we talked about, that stuff still works. Like that stuff is still good. But if you've been trying to do that forever and it hasn't worked, you could reverse engineer this. So I'm gonna put a link down below. I've been testing this for a while um, before we come on. Any training aids we put on this program, I've tested thoroughly, like we did with the hanger, some of these other pieces. So with this one, I've used myself, I've used in lessons. I absolutely love it. There's a code down there if you get 20 bucks off, would highly recommend you using this. But at the end of the day, don't keep doing the same things. If you keep standing up through impact, try reverse engineering it. And if that doesn't work for you, then you have something earlier in your swing that's making you stand up too much. Usually that's a downswing where the shaft is too steep or that's a club face that's too open. One of those two things, okay? If that's the case, then we'll put a little card in the screen to kagornogolf.com. We have a 14 day free trial. You can send me your swings. Try it out absolutely free. Either it works and we solve this for you or it doesn't work and it's completely free so you have no risk. We'll put that. We'll also put the card to Tuesday's video like I mentioned. We'll put this down below and leave a, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching.